Hey Maker, if you use Affinity Photo to edit your product photos and you wanna learn how to properly resize your images for Etsy using this software, this video is for you. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole and I am a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. If you don't know what resizing is, why it's important or what the recommendation is for Etsy, I recommend checking out my recent video, Resizing Images for Etsy 2023 and you can grab a link for that in the description below this video. Now I'm gonna take you into Affinity Photo and show you how to use my three-step process to properly resize your images for Etsy. Let's go. So this is the inside of Affinity Photo 2. Step one of resizing is going to be cropping to the proper aspect ratio. So we're gonna go here in the left-hand panel and select the crop tool. At the top, you're gonna to wanna to choose a custom ratio. And you're gonna type in 5.4 or 4.3, depending on what you're using for Etsy, and hit enter. We've got our 5.4 aspect ratio here, so now we're going to go ahead and frame the image the way that we think it'll look best. And we'll hit there, and I'm gonna hit enter. Okay, so that was step one of resizing. We're going to crop to the proper aspect ratio for Etsy. Now step two of resizing is going to be reducing the pixel dimensions. And to do that, we have to go in to file and we're actually gonna start the export process. So you wanna make sure you do any edits, anything like that prior to this process because this is where we're saving the image. So we're gonna select export. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have JPEG selected up here. So step two of resizing is adjusting those pixel dimensions. And this is gonna be width times height, because that's how our image is. We have more width than we do height. And we know that Etsy recommends having 2000 on the shortest side, which in this case would be our height. So we're gonna select 2000 there. And if we hit enter, it's gonna automatically adjust the pixel dimensions based on the aspect ratio we chose in cropping. Now step three of resizing is gonna make sure that our file size is not too large. So right now it says our estimated file size is 2.35 megabytes. Etsy recommends under one megabyte. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to preset here and we're gonna select, this is the best quality, we're gonna select high quality. Now that's gonna be an 85 and you'll see that it takes our file size down to a four 78.23 kilobyte. Okay, so it's under one megabyte recommendation or Etsy, and that's a little under my recommendation of 500 to 700, but still perfect. I recommend not going under 300. And then you're gonna go hit export, and you're going to save the image. And that's it, that's how you resize your images for Etsy using Affinity Photo 2. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.